New details on the final shootout between fugitive former L.A. cop Christopher Dorner and police in Big Bear, California. Authorities now getting a clearer picture of just what went on in that cabin where Dorner made his last stand. And ABC's John Muller is here with the latest. John. Ron, investigators were initially unsure how Christopher Dorner died. Did he kill himself? Was he killed by a deputy's bullet? Or did he perish in the smoke and flames? Well, now police believe Dorner took a fifth and final life, his own. Police laid out the arsenal of weapons fugitive ex-cop Christopher Dorner used to kill four people in a revenge campaign against the LAPD. It now appears the last life Dorner took was his own, as the cabin he barricaded himself inside of began to go up in flames. The information that we have right now seems to indicate that the wound that uh, took Christopher Dorner's life was self-inflicted. Uh, during the autopsy yesterday, uh, the a doctor who conducted the process concluded that the cause of death was a single gunshot wound to the head. Police now confirmed Dorner was essentially hiding right under their noses for most of the manhunt, inside a condominium steps away from the command center near Big Bear Lake. This could burn for quite some time. But Police no also say they fired pyrotechnic tear gas inside the other cabin where Dorner made his last stand. Before we put that uh, pyrotechnic chemical agent in, we made numerous PA announcements identifying him by name, asking him to surrender. We are and now the first words from the owners of the cabin that burned to the ground, grateful they're alive. This can be rebuilt. Uh, insurance is going to pay for this. It's not a life. It's not somebody who's lost forever. Now, police stress they did not burn down that cabin intentionally. They also say after the flames started, a single gunshot was heard inside, and that sounded very different from all the other shots that were fired, and they believe that was the bullet that Dorner saved for himself.